Here we are at the Arability Benchrest Open and we're going to talk about Hayley Kenwood's rifle today and we're going to see what she's done to it and how she's gone about making the decisions of the alterations she's made. So Hayley, can you tell us what your rifle is first of all? Yeah, it's an Air Arms HFT 500. And what scope do you have on there? I've got the Athlon um, 10 by 40 times 56. Is that the one with the target dot? Yes, it is, yes. Um, I did originally have um, one with cross-fix, uh, cross-fix airs, um, but I noticed that I needed the centre floating dot. Perfect. So, your rifle, is the actual rifle action standard from the box? It's, it is and it isn't. I actually had to have it tuned down. So, other than the tuning of the action yeah. is there any other alterations you've made the only alteration i've made is as you can probably see it's not a standard hft um, stock so i've had a custom bench rest stock made for it who made that that was mark sanderson um gun stocks so just so everybody knows Hale, this is Haley's first year on the tour and you started with an absolutely box standard hft 500 the kind of most popular route in the bench rest yeah and, you, and it's such a great platform you can modify it yep. the better you get yes definitely and what i what i noticed obviously i was coming to the hft stock is is absolutely fine when you start out but what i noticed obviously when i was coming here for the competitions um i i needed the bottom part of the stock um to be less than um 25 millimeters um and obviously the hft as it is, isn't, you have to turn it upside down and I couldn't get used to it, hence I've had the stock made, but I'm really, really happy with it. It's an absolute bobby dazzler, isn't it, really? <laughs> I chose the colours. <laughs> yeah, I must I must admit, personally, I, 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 sometimes I love the stocks more than the guns, they make them really personal. Yeah, they do, yeah. So what back bag do you have on there? So, when I first started, believe it or not, I was shooting off a glove, I had no backrest at all, um, but luckily someone from my local club was selling this. Um, so it's a Seb, it's a Seb backrest, um, and it's got the, um, I can never remember what the name of it is, but it's got the heavy sand in it. Right. Um, and I can't remember what the name <laughs> of the heavy sand is neither. No, I can't remember, So we'll sorry. just call it heavy sand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this weekend you've been drawing a lot of attention, haven't you? I have. Yeah, yeah. I Cause, have. Because Haley is um, probably bought the poshest <laughs> bench rest rest anybody's ever seen in colour coordinated blue here would you like to talk us through it yeah sure so I've, this is literally the first time i've shot with it this weekend um it's the sigani um ccx um so it's come all the way from italy direct um it's got the joystick um i you noticed i got it in blue to match my stock <laughs> I need a, a, a blue rear, <laughs> rear bag next. Um, it, it's, it's absolutely amazing. I've never used a joystick before, so this is completely new to me. Um, but yeah, it's so smooth. Um, when you set it um, in its position, it literally locks. So you haven't got to touch anything, it locks automatically. Um, so as you can see, that is not gonna go down at all. Um, yeah, I, there's not much more I can say about it apart from it's the bee's knees. But, well, I must admit, you, you let me have a fiddle with it earlier and it's probably the smoothest joystick I've ever yeah. had a go at. It's, it's very nice. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. well, thank you for giving me a couple of minutes of your time and You're showing welcome. us your, your absolutely lovely equipment. Thank you. And um, best, best of luck for the rest of the tournament. Thank you. Thank you so much.